Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the clip uh, rectangle brush. So, standard clip rectangle. Now just like before I'm going to have to uh, spacebar brushes and then hold down control and shift clip rectangle, okay, which activates that. Now this is a little different, I think. Nice. Well, I, the first time I used this brush, I was... Oh, now why did I get that? That is really strange. Yeah, I got that. Hmm. It's a... Um, fancy skier. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, I got... Ooh, that's pretty nifty. Inverted, that might be pretty cool. Okay, so Control Shift Alt. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Cool. Control Shift. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. I think I like the previous brush better. Oh, it's a boat. Yeah, military boat. This thing would shoot across the water. Just like that. Fancy. <clears throat> okay, so. Yeah. Um, this brush is uh, Control Z. Um, a little different. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess I could make like robots and stuff with this. Oh, cool. Fancy. <clears throat> okay, Control Z. Now let's see what this is like with a little bit of fun. So I have transform. I've activated the symmetry on the x-axis, and then I've activated radial symmetry at um, 8. So what that is going to do is apply this brush uh, on this sphere uh, 8 times. Oh, cool. Fancy. Now let's um, dynamesh this and see. Fancy. I think I like that. Um... No, not that. Let's try. Cool. Oh. Huh. Nice. It's a uh, Christmas um, light. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that is the clip rectangle brush located right next to the clip curve brush. I am enjoying clip curve. Wow. Uh, go look at that video to see what that does because that is really wicked. The next brush is crumble. I love crumble. Okay, see you then.